Good morning, pickles. Good morning, pies. Ooh, got gloss on you. I know, I feel that. Happy first day of kindergarten! Are you excited? No. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited for you. I love you. I love you. Have the best day ever. Bye. Man, I really don't know what to do with myself now. I really want to go back to sleep. I didn't sleep very good last night. I'm tired. But, can't. I got stuff I need to do to get ready for school. It starts next week. I've got to relearn two entire languages. <sighs> got to get textbooks at some point. But first I've got to process my FAFSA, get student loan stuff figured out. So yeah, this is kind of a boring vlog without Sabra. I hope she's having the best day ever, even though she's probably still in the car. I've got my flashcards for Hebrew all out over here. Uh, this says Ark of the Word of the Lord. It used to be all decorated like the Ark of the Covenant. I have my little Moses action figure standing next to it. A week and a half. No, a week. Oh my gosh, I start school in exactly one week today. I'm not ready. So I went through that whole stack, and these are the words I, I don't know. Whoops. And these are the words that I do know. I'm very encouraged uh, by this stack. I expected this stack to be much higher, and this stack to be much lower. So it's good to see that after just a two or three days of reviewing, this material's coming back really fast. Too many flashcards. It's time for a brain break. Yesterday I started The Office, season one, episode one, just because this is one of my favorite TV shows on the planet and I miss it really bad, so I'm just gonna start over from the beginning and watch all the way through again. Before Sabra gets home. Who are these people? They don't work in The Office? Where did they come from? Good morning, Pugs. Good morning, Pickles. The clip you saw yesterday was me going to work for the first time. Well, not the first time, but for the first full day when we got the kids. How was it? It was good. It went really well. Good. Do you <sighs> love your students? Yeah. But I don't think you vlog anymore for that, did you? I just showed them what I do when you're not around, which is sit here and look at boring flashcards. Mm -hmm. Tonight we're going to Wizard World Comic Con, so we figured we'd start off today's vlog. So you can see some of that. So I have to leave in 10 minutes. Don't leave me. So we're gonna cuddle. We're gonna cuddle so hard. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, 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 ow. All right, Sabre gets back here at any minute now. It is 3.12 in the afternoon. She gets off work at like three o'clock. So uh, she should be here pretty soon. I am currently working on editing our last vlog. Then be back in Oklahoma. Here I am, sitting and waiting for the love of my life to return to me. Beautiful out there. It was raining earlier. Guess who's home? There's a car in our driveway. Maybe she's sitting in the car talking to someone on the phone. Right. Good afternoon, Pickles. Good afternoon, Pugs. We had your coffee today. That's our first stop. That's our first stop today, too. Alright, high five. What was it? The caramel. I'm really craving yeah, that chocolate drink. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm wanting. That's what I'm wanting. <laughs> 3 hours 23. Holy crap, we only have four hours until Comic Con. Not even that. Are you serious? It ends yes. at 8? Yeah. We're we better get going. So, friends, I'm assuming that Tyler has already told you what Comic Con we're going to. Have you? Not really. Well, we're going to Wizard World Comic Con. I went to this about two years ago when it was back in Oklahoma. Uh, and last year, Tyler and I were going to try to go together, but it just wasn't working out. I'm going to dive by a car. We're going to walk fast. Bye, Van. Didn't you invite me to go three years ago, too, but I didn't? Yeah, I did. I invited you to go because it was me, my brother, and Shelby. If you want to watch the video of my first Comic-Con experience, I did a whole Comic-Con vlog. That's on my gaming channel. That's where you can see that. 
That was a really fun video for me to make. It was one of the first vlog videos I ever made. You met Draco Malfoy? Well, you saw Draco Malfoy. Yeah. Um, oh, is that spoilers for the vlog? No, it's not. He was there, and we literally followed him around. Tom, what is his name? Tom Felton. Tom Felton, yes. And he was doing a documentary, so we got to like hang out with him, and it was so cool. Well, hang out with him, aka stand behind him and follow him around. You got to hang out with him, but he didn't really hang out with you. True. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited now that we've gotten out of that crazy traffic and this crazy parking garage. Seriously, it closes today, I think, at 8 o'clock. And we're just getting here at 521. But I kind of had a meltdown when I got home from work today, so... It's fine. I think Tyler was going to try to surprise you guys and vlog me as soon as I got home. But I was in tears on the phone with my mom, so... What can you do? <laughs> Motions. Also... I think I'm going to hit my steps today. Don't know if you saw that, but I was at 9,000. Children, make you walk a lot. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're here. We're about to walk in. I'm super excited. We didn't wear plum bobs like we were going to, but that's okay. Because I didn't have time to make them. <laughs> Guys, this is my first Comic-Con ever. It's not mine. I am in the same building as the DeLorean from Back to the Future. Let's go that way. Found the pop vinyls. That's the one thing I'm leaving this place with. It's a pop vinyl. I see a bunch of cars around here. Do you think the DeLorean's here? <clears throat> it's probably upstairs with the people though, isn't it? Yeah, it is here. I already told you that. I meant like on this level. Oh, I don't know. See, all the Back to the Future stars that are still alive are here at this convention, but you have to pay like $1,000 to see them. It's like 800 but basically $1,000. Basically 1000 Do you have any idea what you want to get over here? Or do we, are we just looking? I don't even know what's here. I really want, I kind of want that $45 exclusive pop final. I kind of do too. We found Newt Scamander from the new movie that's coming out pretty soon. Uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. It can only be found at this convention. It's an exclusive for $45. Oh, Sabra. has no photos in this area, but I want you to know that I'm standing feet away from Christopher Lloyd and Leah Thompson and Michael J. Fox's booths. Those names mean nothing to me. They aren't there, but they will be. <laughs> Underneath that sheet is the DeLorean from Back to the Future. There's the clock tower and everything. For 20 bucks, I can sit inside there. Probably not today, though. Was it a successful con? It was. I wish we would have actually forked out the money to come on Saturday or something like that. That would have been a lot of fun. Yeah. I wish we would have forked out the money to see all the Back to the Future cast. I don't really care. All $800 of it. I'm glowing red because there's a car in front of us that um, has our brake lights on. We're at Chick-fil-A. We left the con. Yep. Oh, now I'm not red anymore. 
Um, How much I'm, do you want to bet? There's going to be no pickles on my sandwich. I'm exhausted. My legs hurt so bad. Was my head hurt. Yeah, I just wish we could have. I felt like we were so rushed. Today we did mostly just shopping, looking around. Uh, we bought a lot of art. We'll show you the art when we get home, probably. Oh, check my leg. Okay. Had a number one meal, extra pickles with the sweet tea and a Chick-fil-A meal with the water. That's correct. Sauce, uh, ketchup and Chick-fil-A sauce, please. I kind of wanted to talk, talk about my work experience today. Just because I feel like this isn't the last day that that is going to happen. What happened today. And I... I don't know, I feel like it's worth talking about and worth asking prayer for. All I can really tell you about my job is I'm working with um, special needs children as a teacher's aide. I can't say anything else about the students just because it, it uh, breaches their privacy. Today was just a rough day. Oh gosh, you can't see me at all. Can I do that? Or is that too bright? No, you're fine. Okay. I was frustrated because I didn't feel like I had enough training for this job and there were some scenarios I didn't know how to handle and I didn't feel like I handled the best and I just felt very incompetent for this job and I came home crying because it's just it's, it's hard not knowing how to best serve these children and how to serve my fellow teachers aides and my teacher and I'm just not feeling very good about it. <laughs> I absolutely adore these kids already, and it's only day two of being with them, but it's hard. It's hard for me to see you having a hard time with it. I want you to be happy, which I know you will be happy at this job, but I also know it's going to be tough. I think it's just going to take some time for me to get used to it. Oh, I'm blurry. Camera. It's just going to take time. Yep. And I'm ready for the weekend. And I'm blurry again, so I want to stop recording. So real fast before we go to bed, I wanted to show you guys the art that we got from Comic Con. Um, their links will be in the description if you want to know who the artists are. And where you can find their artwork. Excuse me, I was hiccuping. But here's this first piece that I got. And it is basically um, Little Mermaid themed. If you can see, there's like an Eric and Ariel dancing, and then it just has like seashells, her dingle hopper, um, little flounders in the fish tank with her kingdom, the flowers she had in her hair, the boat. It's just so lovely, so nice. Oh, focus. And then next we got this uh, Minecraft pickaxe. I'm trying to get it where there's no glare on it. And this was one of her Clarence, ooh. One of her clearance pieces so we got it for five bucks again her link will be down in the description that's her autograph i don't remember i think her name was bianca i love this and tyler and i are going to start a nerd wall so this would be like really good on that or a nerd shelf we're not really sure what to call it yet and this little piece of art is super cheeky it's just a hippo in the water with a floating device we have a giraffe on our wall which i think or have they seen the draft before i don't know let's go show them oh i don't want to get up there's our giraffe. So basically we like animal prints and we figured we'd keep the thing going and the colors in this print are kind of the same colors that are in our living room because it has the yellows and the blues and the greens and that's kind of the theme in our living room. We have a little more orange. Did I call this an elephant? It's a hippo. I think I called it an elephant. A hippo, I don't know what I did. Editing Tyler will know what I said. And then this last picture I got just for me. Well, I guess two of them are just for me and then two of them are for like us. The Minecraft and the hippo, but I love this one. It is Ninetales and Vulpix. Vulpix is my favorite Pokemon and Vulpix's evolution is Ninetales and I just thought this picture was so cute. At my very first Comic Con, I bought a Vulpix picture and I figured I could keep the theme going with buying another Vulpix picture. It was a lot of fun, not only getting to see the art, but getting to interact with the people making the art. And some of them were, re were making their art right there. So while they had their art on display, they also had their canvases and their paintbrushes or their sketchbooks, whatever, and just 
going at it. And the artist is right there and you can talk to them about their fandom and like why did they paint that piece and mm -hmm. they can kind of say oh my gosh it's one of my favorite series too and it's just fun. Okay so this is another piece of art we got that is so great. I don't know if you can really see it. It looks kind of funny on camera but it's Leslie Nope eating her waffles and her little button says Nope 2016 I think on it or 2012. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. And we just think it's awesome because we have Ron Swanson in our little coffee bar area. So of course we need a Leslie um, eating her waffles, which I want to hang up in our dining room. So our next picture, the fandom that we are currently involved in. Yes, I love how these are minimalist. Like again, different styles. This style right here is so different from like this style right here. So this is a min minimalist artwork of Bob's Burgers. This Bob Belcher holding the burger. And I think it's just so cute. So again, if you're interested in seeing these um, artists' artwork, if you want to order things for yourself, those will be in the description box down below. Yeah. If you're wanting cheap artwork, <laughs> talking to an original artist who is starting their own business and kind of a freelancer, definitely the way to go. You get to support their work and you get really cool stuff for your home. What's your guys' favorite fandom? Leave that in the comments below so we can see what you guys like to watch. Speaking of what we like to watch, it's nine o'clock and I think we should get ready for bed and watch an episode of Box Berber Berbers. An episode of Box Bo Ugh. We love y'all. We love you guys. We're gonna go to sleep. We're going to sleep so good. I'm gonna sleep really good. Good, you need it. Thank you. I'm ready for this weekend. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Okay.